Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. I reworked uh, this mansion uh, palace thing layout, <laughs> this building, uh, between episodes. Um, it did a couple things. I made this tower a lot thinner. I recounted everything. Uh, a lot of you in the comments said I, I miscounted some stuff, and I double-checked. All the counting that I did was right, but it didn't line up in a way that I liked, so I changed it a little bit so that now there are five blocks uh, between every log, and uh, it's, it's essentially more of like a grid pattern now uh, with some variations and stuff. If we take a look at it from way up in the sky... You can see this is basically what it's going to look like now, and I think I like this better than what we had. Uh, so what I want to do in today's episode is I want to do some more work on this and start getting some stuff in place, start getting walls built up and uh, and getting our shape right and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to start here, and let's maybe go to like here or so, and then start building over like this. And the basic plan is to kind of get, uh, oh boy, something built up here. Uh, is this upside down? This is upside down. That's not where I want it. I actually want this to go... Do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it this way? I think we maybe want to go a slope like this instead. Uh, and actually, we want this to be a higher slope, come to think of it. So maybe what I should do is get kind of the framework laid out. And then once we have that done, maybe then I'll start kind of working on the roof. Although I do think that the roof is also going to be kind of dependent on the framework. So um, we'll see. Eh, I fell, but whatever. Uh, we can get some of this from down here. So, these will be fairly high, these walls. That seems pretty good. Maybe I want to make that even higher, though. Let's take a look from down here. Yeah, I think I want to build that up even a little bit higher than it is right now. Can we land? Yeah, there we go. Let's maybe build this up like another two blocks. I think that'll be good. Uh, don't break that one just yet, because I don't want to fall while I'm at it go over. Yeah, this seems better. And then we'll just kind of go there, up to, and like so. What do we think of that for a height? That seems a lot more along the lines of what I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that much better. Okay, so then what we do want to do is make sure that these bits here, this one will come down. And essentially what I want to do is figure out our roof shape, because I'm kind of thinking that I want like this little bit right here to kind of come down like so, until it passes right here. How low is that going to be? Um, okay. So I'm going to have to change that up. That's not going to work. That's going to look really bad. So let's fix that. Uh, maybe we'll end up doing more of a slanted roof here or something. I don't know yet. I, I'm going to have to do something with this little chunk. Uh, I suppose we could also just bring it up at another triangle, like right here. That might work as well. I'll figure something out. Um, but tell you what, let me get some work done on this framework, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been busy. Check it out. It's looking good. It's, I mean, obviously, we haven't filled in a lot of the stuff yet, but it's getting there, and it's making progress, and I'm liking it so far. Uh, so we still have some things that I need to figure out. I've decided that this is going to be kind of a raised section. There'll be a balcony out over here. But this bit right here is a little bit of a challenge, and I need to figure out how I'm going to make specifically this chunk right here work. Um, 
what I may want to do is start filling in some of the roof and stuff like that so I can get kind of a better idea of how it's all going to work. But I've got a tower here, a tower here, and then this tower here. I'm thinking I might want to make this center tower a bit taller. Because when you look at it from down here, from this perspective, you can't re like you can kind of tell that it's taller than this one, but you can't really tell that much. Uh, and when you fly, please. And when you look at it from over here, due to perspective, this one actually looks a little bit taller. Um, and I want this tower to be the the big, really like super tall one. So I may want to even raise this one up by like maybe four more blocks or so. I don't know. I'll have to see. I think for now what I should start doing is probably filling in some of the roof. Maybe not all of it, but uh, at least get started with that because then that'll give us kind of a better idea of how like the rest of this is going to shape up. Where's all my prismarine? Here we go. And we're going to need... I'm, I'm going to go through so much prismarine while I'm doing this, um, but that's fine. That's that's perfectly okay. Uh, dark oak goes in here. I had to go and mine out a bunch more of the, well, not mine, but chop down a bunch more of our dark oak forest that is over, like, just over that way. It's just a little bit out of view distance. There's like a swamp and then there's the dark oak forest if you head out over that way. Uh, but anyway, let's grab this. Let's make more dark prismarine. And that might be all the prismarine that I have. I don't think I have any more in a shulker box. No, I don't. So I am going to have to go and get more at some point. Um, but that's that shouldn't be that big of a deal. It should be okay. We'll have to check it out and see. Uh, but for the moment, let's start filling in some of this. And then right here, we're going to turn it like so. So this bit will, will kind of like stick out. And then oops, same kind of a deal here. You go back. There we go. We'll just kind of bring this over. We may want to make some bracers that kind of uh, link up with the roof at some point, but uh, we can worry about some of those like more uh, detail oriented things later. Uh, for now, it's all about just kind of getting the structure in place, and then we can detail it afterwards. Uh, so something like this, this log definitely has to go, so we can replace it with prismarine, like so. Bring that bit over here, and then we go stairs again, doot doot, here. Bring that across like so. And then right here, this is all going to be tower. And we know that. So we can just bring this bit over. And I believe... Yeah, this is going to end up being um, like uh, stairs of some sort. Where that little bit kind of connects over. So that should be fine. So let's just kind of bring this over here and then we should be able to kind of get an idea if we come down yeah yeah that's kind of working okay so let's grab some stone stairs and some stone bricks where are my rockets right here and let's fly up and then put our oop, little border on the edge of this roof. Can we do this? Is this <laughs> is this going to work? Oh, no. I, I fell. Um, tell you what, let's land right here. There we go. Then we can put that here. That will connect into the roof right here like so. And then the roof will continue over. Um, we can also go, let's see. We know this is going to be full blocks. Kind of coming across. Like that. And we know 
Uh, that? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because this tower is this tower is smaller. Because uh, this is going to be granite going up to here. So then we can bring this bit across like so. We know that this is going to kind of come up here. Oop. I'm just trying to, like, figure out how tall this roof is going to be. <laughs> Essentially. And I think we have it sorted at this point. Because then this will be stairs as well. Like so. And then this level, yeah, right here is where this part of the roof will come across. So that gives us essentially our roof height right here. And let's just take a peek. Yeah, and that'll continue across as well. So that's making sense to me, at least. That's a good start. Um, should probably grab a little bit more granite, just so I can fill in a few of those blocks that, like, are there sort of as guide blocks. We're not going to fill... Wow, I'm actually much lower on granite than I thought, but... Uh, okay, that's fine. But what I'm talking about is, like... Over here, we know that this is going to be granite, right? Like right here. So we can just kind of build that up. And then let's just break this one out for a sec so I can put you. And then like we know that this is going to be granite as well. So we can do stuff like this. Uh, and that way we can kind of see like, okay, so this is where the granite's going to go. Like so, right? And then I've, I've marked out the roof on the towers, although I haven't actually started, like, doing it yet. But that should work. This is going to be... I mean, obviously, this is only one side. We still need to do this side over here. We got to figure out this roof. This tower needs to be sorted out. Like, there's still quite a lot left to do here. Um, I think what I should probably do as the next bit, though... Can I make that? Yeah, there we go. Is come to, like, right here... Ooh. Uh, oh, uh, oops. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, I think what we should probably do, man, that's, that's a hard landing to make. There we go. Uh, is come over like so, and then here we can start bringing this bit up, right? Because we know that this is going to come up as well. And this this tower is not centered on the, the line that goes down the middle here. Not quite, anyway. I think this is the... No, no, it actually even goes one further right here and then uh we'll fill though we'll fill those in oh come on why are you not placing where i want you to we know that that's going to come to here and then these are going to be the stairs that go across and they'll meet up with that one so if we do something like that what I'm thinking is maybe for this section right here, we can just put another roof slope on it. Maybe. I don't know if that's the best solution or not. It might be. I do know that I want this to come over. So I'm going to bring this over until it connects. Oh, not upside down. Come on. Here. Here. A little bit more. Should be right here that this turns. To meet up with this side, I think. 
like so. Yeah, there we go. And then this would bring over, or this would come over this way. And we could just go do, 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 right here. Again, it would kind of come over like this, right? So we can kind of, we can kind of sort this out as we go, right? And just fill, just fill in little things and, and little bits to give us a better idea of, of the, uh, the big picture, I guess you could say. As we fill in this chunk of the roof. This is really the chunk of the roof that's going to be hard. I mean, obviously, it, there's, you know, a lot of resource gathering and stuff that I still need to do. I need to head back to the, the Guardian farm and get some more uh, Prismarine and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, like, that's not difficult. That's just time consuming, right? Like, gathering the resources, getting the resources. That's the, that's, it's not hard per se. It just takes time. Um, it's running back and forth. What I'm worried about is this part right here, this open space where my cursor is right now, that's where we're actually going to run into a challenge and it's going to be like, okay, how in the world am I going to make this look <laughs> decent? And I think our best bet may be, uh, come on, our best bet may be to do... Um, an additional, like, slope. That might be our best option. We'll have to see. I gotta, like, I gotta get this part done first so I can think about it properly. Otherwise, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but my brain, my creative brain, anyway, like, the creative portion of it, needs to see, um, I need to visualize it, right? I need to, like, see it in my head, uh, sometimes before I can, like, think about how to make it, uh, better, right? I need to visualize and, and look at it and go, oh, okay, so it's gonna look like this, and now, now we can do, you know, whatever. So, something like this, we know that this is gonna come out a ways, and I don't know where our center point is exactly. We could actually just say... That might not be the actual center point, but it would be a spot that makes sense because it's where this part comes out. But something like that might do the trick. And then I guess... I guess we would go... Hmm. Let's see. We do have a log here. Just trying to think. If that came up again. I'm trying to visualize it in the in the perspective of like the rest of this. I guess we would want to go here. That would probably be where we'd want to put the actual like bit of the roof. Oh, it would help if I actually use the rocket to fly instead of a stone brick. Self, what you doing? Anyway, so we know we have a log here. So what we could probably do is, oh, that's granite. We could probably go like a stair here and then start building this up at an angle, right? And have an additional slope right here and then this would be the center point and that is lower than the other one by a little bit but I think it would work let's just see if I bring this up here 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 okay so then I suppose we would have prismarine like so. All right, I'm just going to build this over like three. I'm not going to go all the way. Because I'm not going to have enough prismarine if I do it that way. Oh, I fell. But that might work. That might do the trick. Let's just see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that will work. And I think not only will it work, I think it'll actually end up looking pretty decent. And then right here, this would come across. So then from this side, we'd have here, here. Uh, I'll just build this out a little bit. Again, we'll just go like three. Like so, do, do, do. I might not have enough prismarine blocks for this, but I might. We'll see. How many more layers do I need? I'm going to have just enough. So that would come across until it runs into that tower. Yeah, that should totally work. And then right here, we'd go and just bring this across to here. This is going to be a little funky, this bit. But I think it will still work. The, the principle is the same. Because we'd have... That would be broken. This would go here. Uh, actually, it would go, like, here. And then this would come up Ooh, that is a problem, though, because that would not that, that's not going to run all the way over like I'd have this chunk because this this side of the tower doesn't come over. Mm, OK, maybe this won't work as well as I had thought. Um, I got to think about that. We'll find uh, we'll find something that works. But tell you what, let me get some more work done on like the roof and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Check it out. Roof is looking good. We're getting there. We're making progress. I've even started putting in the roof on uh, some of the towers, not all of them. Uh, but this one's done. This one's done. This one I'm trying to uh, I'm, I'm kind of working out right now. Um, I think I need to go and grab some stone brick slabs. Just kind of looking at the way that it's coming together. I think we're going to need them. Uh, so let's go. Do, 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 do. Should probably make some more stairs while I'm at it. There we go. Make a couple of slabs. That should suffice. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, I think I might need a little bit more prismarine as well. I've also noticed a bit of a problem. I don't think our guardian farm is actually working anymore. Thankfully, I do have a lot of prismarine left in there. But I think I didn't realize it, but updating to 18W07A, which was done forever ago, like before we started this kingdom, um, I, I updated almost immediately after building the farm. I think that may have broken it and maybe some other farms as well. And I haven't noticed because I haven't had to like... I, I haven't had to actually make use of those farms since I had a bunch of resources from when they were like very first built. But I spent some time over there and no guardians were spawning whatsoever. I am a little concerned. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, though. Um, so for now, let's uh, let's start working a little bit on this lovely little piece of tower architecture. So what I'm thinking is maybe what we can do here and here. I'm, I'm far more worried with how these look from the outside, not the inside. OK, so I want to be clear about that first. But I think maybe what we could do is go boop boop like so. Put a slab like this and then right here we kind of turn this around, right? So it kind of forms like a like a little bit of an angle here a uh, slab there this guy would go like so those two would get replaced slab here and like that right and then when we build this up ooh, grab our stairs like this and probably go to about here this should provide us uh, a bit more of like the look that we're going for, which I think is good. So here, here, 
here, here, there, there, and then one more set. Boop, boop, like that. There we go. Let's take a look at that from a distance. Um, hmm. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's close. It's real close. I think what we're going to do is just change it like this instead. We're just going to say stairs and stairs because it was a little too flat. Um, that might even need to come up further now that I'm kind of looking at this. Yeah. I think what we want to go is here and then here. So, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And there. All right, now let's try it. Yeah, I think that's better. I mean, these towers, it's kind of hard to get the shape like exactly right all the time, but... Um, I think it's like fairly good. I think it's fairly good. Um, we should be okay. Now for these towers, this one and that one, they're identical, or at least the tops of the towers are. So I'll kind of walk you through it here. Basically, we did three stairs along the edge, right? Like this, and then a stair and a stair and then three stairs right? In fact, you know what? Let's make this super easy. Let's just show you down here. So the shape of those towers is three, boop, boop, is like this. That's what the shape of the tower is. So I went boop, 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 like this, right? And I'm not going to do the entire thing. I'll just do like half of it. And then we went one, two, three here. One, two, three here. And then, oh, <laughs> beacon mine, got it. Duly noted here, boop, boop. That one goes up three high as well. And then here, it goes up two and comes to a point like this okay so essentially you can see kind of the shape up there so what i did is right here we go two and then a stair and a stair bring that one up and then this one would kind of come in like this and go up a few more until you're a block underneath the stair. And then this one would just come up like that, right? So it ends up looking like this. And I did that on all four sides. And the result is what you see up on top of all those towers. And I think it works. Like, it totally looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I did just realize, though, that this actually goes up higher than I can reach with a pick. So... Maybe not the best you way to demonstrate this after all. But I was like, oh, no problem. It'll be easy to show and I'll just clean it up. But, uh, oh, well, it's fine. Um, so I think this is a really, really good start on our, uh, our manor or our palace or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, you can, it'll look a lot better once we start getting some of these walls actually filled in. But I think we got to save that one for a later episode because I'm running out of time. So let me go grab a comment of the day. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got a comment and it says, love the color choice. I would never normally use dark prismarine, but now we have the stairs and slabs. It makes a whole difference. I was just wondering, how did you get your texture pack to work with the new snapshots? That's from Diplex Mantis, Mantis Gaming. If I butchered the name, I'm sorry. Um, so... Yeah, first of all, totally agree. Now that Prismarine has slabs and stairs, it's a hundred million times easier to use. As for the texture pack, um, texture packs essentially work the same way that they did before the new snapshots. However, 
a lot of the names have changed. So if you type F3 plus H, you can show or hide advanced tooltips. You'll notice when I hover my mouse over this, uh, it'll have in kind of like gray text underneath the name Minecraft colon polished underscore granite and so on and so forth. Um, in previous snapshot or in previous versions of Minecraft before the snapshots, a lot of these items had different names. So like glass, for example, was Minecraft colon glass and then like asterisk one or asterisk two for the different colors. In fact, you know what? Just to make this easy. I'll show you over here. So like there was Minecraft stone and then uh Granite was like Minecraft stone colon one or uh, Minecraft stone colon two or whatever. And when the snapshot happened, all of these items that were essentially different variants of a previous block like stone or glass or wool or all those different things, they actually changed the name. So now like white stained glass is Minecraft colon white underscore stained underscore glass and orange is orange underscore uh, so on and so forth. So a little technical and stuff, but we're uh, basically the names of these different items changed. So when you update your texture pack, you have to go through every single texture and you have to modify the names so they properly match up. So if you have like your old um, white stained glass texture, as an example, which I believe used to be like Minecraft colon, uh, you know, glass colon one or whatever. You now need to go in and change it to Minecraft colon white underscore stained underscore glass. And you basically just have to go through and change every single one of those names <laughs> in the texture pack. And there's a ton of them. So it's totally doable. Previous texture packs will work in the snapshots, but you have to go into the files and modify like every single name. Uh, so it can be time consuming. I know there are some guides. There was one that somebody sent to me on Reddit. I it, This was forever ago now, so I don't think I can find it again. But uh, at the time, I asked a question in the Minecraft subreddit and said, hey, anyone know what I'm missing here? And somebody really helped me out. I forget who it was, but uh, if you do some searching around on the internet, Google and stuff, you could probably find a complete list of all the different uh, textures and stuff that have to be, have to have their names changed. Um, but for the most part, it's like, it's not really super difficult. It's just very, very time consuming to do. So yeah, that's how you update a texture pack from one point, uh, from prior to 1.13 snapshots to uh, more recent versions. There you go. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I am very much out of time for this one. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check those out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.